Hi guys and welcome to Simply Scuba. Today I'm joined with Sarah from Girls That Scuba. Hi Sarah. Hey. Hi. Uh, so tell us a quick something about Girls That Scuba. <laughs> Um, so Girls at Scuba is a online female dive community cool. which aims to encourage more and more women to start scuba diving. Fantastic. Uh, so today we're looking at stocking fillers. If you've got a scuba diver in your life or if you're a scuba diver and people keep asking you for questions on what to put in your Christmas list, uh, we've come up with a few ideas. So Sarah and I, a little bit earlier, we literally handpicked these just going through the website, just going, huh, I'd like that. Um, so what have we got first? Well, the great thing about what we've got here is everything is under 50 pounds yep. so definitely a stocking filler and if you're a scuba diver I feel like you can't go wrong with a scuba diving present or stocking filler yeah so all of these items are pretty much guaranteed like, mm -hmm. well done cool cool <laughs> uh, so shall we start looking around Do you want to start this side or that side ah, let's start with the one right in front of me <laughs> which is this very funky looking mask so, and snorkel kit. Yeah, so this is the Mara's Vento Energy Set. Uh, this comes with a, uh, a funky uh, just style colour to it. Instead of just being a boring solid colour, uh, this is actually called Bubbles. Uh, so as you can see, it's got little bubbles <laughs> all over it. Um, I really like it. This is, uh, this is quality stuff from Mara's, uh, Italian design. You've got a big single lens, so very easy to see. Silicone as well. Um, so you can use this scuba diving or snorkeling. You can use this wherever you are. It's really great because you usually see so many boring looking masks and snorkels, so yeah. I really, really love that. Cool. Uh, so if I put that to one side. Oh, but I want it. What else have we got? This one actually I picked, which is the Scoop Pro vintage, uh, vintage regulator, regulator bag. bag. Yep. Because, like, I think that with your regulators, unless you get one with when you actually buy your new set of regulators, you don't tend to have a regulator bag, so it might be like the one item that you tend to just like put on the top of your suitcase, like yeah. in between your wetsuits to try and protect, them. protect it a little bit. <laughs> um, and then I don't know if you'd be like, I'm gonna go out and buy a regulator bag, but someone could buy it for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so decent size, you can uh, you can fit sort of almost any set of regulators inside of that. You've got plenty of space. With some reg bags, they're quite small, uh, and you really have to wrap them up to put them in. But this is a decent size, yeah, it's and it's got their use. yeah, it's got their vintage sort of retro styling to it, uh, nice little blue lines and details. Cool, cool. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, well, here is one of your fancy <laughs> Simply Scuba microfiber towels. Yeah. But it's just like every scuba diver needs. Yep. To put in there. So microfiber towels, much smaller, much more compact than a traditional towel towel. Um, the material itself really? is very clever. Yeah, it's a massive towel. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like a full body beach towel. Oh yeah. Um, you could and... also use it as a cape. <laughs> <laughs> Dual function. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Goodbye. the material, <laughs> the material is great for drying yourself, drying your equipment off. Uh, of course, it's um, it doesn't create the same kind of lint as normal towels do, so they're quite good for cameras as well. Uh, you're not going to get that um, sort of stuff on your lens. And they just dry so quickly, so yeah. if you've just got like the one day on the boat and you're leaving the next day, it's so good because they just dry. Yeah, clip it off onto quick. a rail, and it comes in a little bag with a, uh, a mesh a mesh section as well. Uh, yeah, we like that. Uh, what oh, else? I like what you've got. Uh, so this one, this one I chose. <laughs> yeah. um, this this is my size. Yeah, um, definitely. So so this is a ladies UPF 50 rash vest from Scuba Pro. They come in lots of different sort of funky styles and colours. Uh, what's really great about this is that it's really going to protect you from the sun whilst making you stand out. Um, yeah, and it's really good because it's not the typical black scuba colour, which um, a lot of scuba diving equipment is. Mm. So I really like any colour that is <laughs> not just all black and just. <laughs> Just adds a little bit more fun to your scuba wardrobe. Again, it might be one of those things that if someone buys it for you, you'd love, but you don't know whether you'd actually buy it yourself. <laughs> I would totally wear that. Yeah, everyone needs a rash vest. Uh, okay, what else? Should we do the pointer? So pointer, very useful yeah. tool, very underrated tool. Um, as it looks, doesn't do very much. It actually has lots of different functions, uh, mainly for pointing, hence the name. Um, <laughs> it's also useful for getting your buddy's attention, not just by smacking them, but by banging on your cylinder. Uh, 
Yeah. Great for current, if you're stuck in current and you just need to yep. get yourself in there Jam so you don't get lost. Yeah, without damaging without or touching damaging anything. Corals, yeah. If you want to point at a lionfish, you don't want to get too close to the venom spines, you just yeah. point at it. Um, always handy, nice and compact. Um, yeah. Fairly inexpensive as well. Just slip it in your BCD as well. Oh, yes. Um, sticking on, yeah, sticking with the accessories, we've got a slate. Um, always handy. Uh, the number of times I've looked at a student, tried to say something, and they just look back quizzical. Uh, if you can yeah. physically write something down underwater, they know exactly yeah, what Yeah, like say. every instructor needs to have one, so <laughs> if you are a parent of a scuba instructor, just grab one of these, could just be a spare one, because they just get lost very easily. Yeah. This one has yeah, a nice little hook that you can hook on to some part of your BCD. But yeah. Great easy present for um, yeah, for any, any diver. Any diver. Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, a padded pocket weight belt. Uh, so very handy, very much more comfortable than a traditional weight belt. Uh, just the w normal uh, sort of webbing weight belts, you've got to thread the lead on, uh, you've got to make sure it's the right way round, and then you've just got that solid block of lead that just sits on your hip. It's really good and comfortable. Yeah, these are padded, um, so they're much more comfortable. You can fit both shot lead and like solid block lead in these. And because they have the separate pockets, you can really control where the lead is yeah. on your body and it's not going to slip and move around. Yeah, um, so before I had like integrated weights, I would always have uh, the padded weight yep. belt because it's mm. so much more comfortable. Also, it just comes down to like how easy it is to put the weights in. Yep. Like just pop them in there, whereas the old school weight belts and You're you have to thread, thread them twisted. and they're really yeah. stiff. And yeah. Yeah. These are just great. Uh, they of course come in different. Yeah, they of course come in different sizes. Uh, the larger the size, the more of these pockets you get. Um, and yeah, it's a very handy, useful gift for any diver. Uh, yeah, then we're going on to t-shirts. Left the t-shirts a lot. Yeah, so we've got boys and girls t-shirts. We've got lots of different ranges of t-shirts from Fourth Element and Santi. Uh, we even have our own brand Simply Scuba ones that you can check out on our website. Uh, again, uh, scuba divers, when asked, they usually identify themselves as scuba divers. If you go, oh, what do you guys do you know, at a party? It's like, oh, yeah, I'm a scuba yeah. diver. Uh, so we like to advertise, especially around the dive site. Wear a t-shirt, and you can definitely yeah. tell you're exactly. a scuba diver. And, um, and it starts to get your friends and family into scuba diving, because they see it more in their day-to-day -day life, so they think about starting to dive, which is great for the industry. Okay, so there are our favorite products. Wait, 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 wait. That was literally nine products and it's supposed to be top 10. There's one more. <laughs> this is our Simply Scuba 35 litre dry bag. Uh, everything was supposed to come out of this, um, uh, but, uh, but we forgot. In hindsight, that would have been great. That would have been cool. Um, no, nah, it's fine. Uh, so, um, so yeah, dry bags, always useful in and around the dive sites, uh, particularly useful after the dive. If you're loading all your kit back into your car, it's all gonna be soppy wet. You don't want your car to get wet, so you stow it in this and it keeps it all nice. Or if you've got something expensive that you wanna keep dry, chuck it in that and it'll keep it dry. Can it also be used as a Santa sack? It can, to yeah. To hold all of your stocking fillers for that scuba diver in your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool, uh, so yeah, so that's, 10 gifts that, uh, that Sarah and I have picked out, uh, but let us know what your favorite one was and let us know what you'd like in your Christmas stocking. Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy and Christmas. safe diving. <laughs> <laughs>